but I was able to have an experience with a woman who was on hemo and she was thinking about doing peritoneal dialysis, but she wanted more information. So I was able to meet up with her and her husband. We just went to a restaurant and they asked questions and I answered to the best of my abilities. I expressed to her my my experience, you know, told her my experience and how much I appreciated being able to do peritoneal dialysis. Now she told a little bit of, about her experience and she was doing hemo and she was talking about how much time it took and how ill she felt after doing hemo, like she was just so tired and would rest and there was just such a restriction on what she could eat and she really felt like a dairy cow, you come in, you get milked, and you leave. And so she felt like she just came in, they did the dialysis, and she went home. It just wasn't a very good experience for her. And her story, you know, made me want to do more, do these videos to help people know that peritoneal dialysis is an option. Now, I understand the um, draw that hemodialysis has over peritoneal because I remember I mean you get so ill as your kidneys function I enjoy walking a lot and I was walking every day or as, as much as I could and there's a loop at um, a park nearby and it's just over a mile and so I was trying to walk that every day and as I got sicker it took me about an hour to walk just that mile and then pretty soon I couldn't walk the mile anymore and we just did half a loop and then a fourth of that loop and that was taking me and I was walking slower and slower and then I'd have to walk every other day or just twice a week because you just get so tired and you're so ill and like the thought of having to cook food just wasn't even worth the effort to do that and so to think about doing your own dialysis at home seemed like something I couldn't do. And so hemo, they, I was, you know, what, what is hemo like? And I, I saw on YouTube advertisement for hemo, for hemo dialysis for those clinics. And they said, we're like family. You don't have to do anything. Just come here. We'll take care of you. And... And, and that was really appealing because I was so tired, I could hardly take care of myself. So that, that was definitely a draw. Now, some people can't do peritoneal dialysis. They have to do hemo. They don't have that option. But the point of this and my videos is to, I want to make sure that everybody at least has the opportunity to see whether they can do peritoneal dialysis or not. Once you start doing dialysis, you're going to feel better. That exhaustion, that just so ill and just, just, it's so tough just to, like, just going up a flight of stairs in my house was exhausting. I had to rest afterwards. But your energy will come back. Your, the sharpness, the quickness of your mind will come back once you start peritoneal dialysis. Or maybe it's that same with, with hemo, but I am so thankful that I was given the option of hemo or peritoneal and I was able to choose choose which one worked for me. So that gave me, you know, like so much as choices and decisions are away, you know, but I had these two choices or decisions to make. Do I want to do hemo or do I want to do peritoneal? And I had done some research on peritoneal and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have the freedom during the day. Um, I teach lessons and I wanted to be able to continue to teach violin and viola lessons. And so being able to make that decision of this, to, you know, this way of path, this is what I'm taking, gave me a sense of control and of a lot, a lot of freedom. I also had a woman come up to me from church and she said, oh, her husband did hemo because they, they couldn't do peritoneal dialysis because she had to be at work and, 
and all the training that we had to do, you know, she just didn't have time for for that. And that made me feel, that made me feel really sad because I felt like somebody hadn't honestly come up and told her about peritoneal dialysis. Yes, there is training, but it's simple. And, and the dialysis happens overnight while you're asleep. It takes eight hours, but you know, I get to lay in bed for eight hours. You know, I have an excuse. Oh, I can't get up. I'm doing dialysis and you're tired anyways. And it really didn't take up much of my day. Another reason why I am so thankful that I'm able to do peritoneal dialysis is because I'm able to do therapy every night. And because of that, it gives me freedom, a little more freedom of like the food choices I can make. Now you do lose a lot of protein, so I have to eat a lot more protein, but my diet is a lot more, a lot more free, like how much fluids I can eat and the choices of food I have are greater, I think, than what you're able to do with hemo. I do take phosphorus binders before I eat because that was something that was too high. But by just taking those pills, my phosphorus levels are within range. I'm able to do peritoneal dialysis at home. So I'm in my home, I'm in my room, I'm in my bed. And one thing is I don't get cold. A lot of people on Hemo talk about how cold they get and they just, no matter how many blankets they're able to put on, they're just so cold. And after doing um, hemodialysis, they're just exhausted and tired. I don't feel that way. I'm able to sleep through the dialysis. I actually have a, um, an electric blanket that helps, but I'm not cold. And having suffered through a chronic illness and kidney failure and being unhealthy, I was always cold. I just, even now I, I wear a lot of layers because I just don't want to be cold. I've been cold enough and I don't need to be cold anymore. So I really appreciate that um, doing peritoneal dialysis doesn't make you feel that, that coldness because I'm just, I'm just done feeling cold. I just feel this calling to let people know more about peritoneal dialysis and that this this might be an option for you. And if it is, I uh, it's for me I have found that I am able to live my life as close to normal as I can and I feel like if I had to do hemo that would take away a, a lot of my day-to-day life and and the way I, I hope to live. I'm able to travel. I'll make another video about traveling because we've done a lot and peritoneal dialysis allows me to do that. Thank you.